My name is Robert Spatek. I'm with UT Medicine. Uh, I am the uh, I'm with the Department of Urology in the Division of Urologic Oncology, and I am also the Medical Director of Robotics at the University Hospital. Um, what we're going to be talking about is a robotic cystectomy with a total intracorporeal ileal conduit, urinary diversion. And this also, um, operation is for people with uh, advanced bladder cancer. And the reason that we do this major operation is really to prevent the cancer from spreading to other locations. So I like to simplify the technique and the steps into three major steps for the patients. And those three steps would be one is removing the bladder, which we call cystectomy. After we remove the bladder, then we'll take out lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are present everywhere in the body, but in the pelvis, in the region around the bladder, we take those out to see if the cancer has spread there, and maybe it, it provides some therapeutic value as well. So it's a diagnostic and possibly beneficial for the patient. So that part is called the lymph node dissection, which is really just removing the lymph nodes. And then the third part is the urinary diversion. And I'll, I'll draw that one in some detail. The bladder serves as a reservoir for urine that's made in the kidneys, which I'm showing you here. The kidneys make the urine after filtering the blood. The urine travels through these tubes called ureters and is stored here in the bladder. So, during the first step, which is the cystectomy, we're going to actually remove the bladder here. So we transect the ureters and the urethra. And all of that is then taken out. Once that's removed, then we have to have a way of getting the urine outside the body or a urinary diversion. So we'll talk about that. The lymph nodes for the second part are really present here behind the bladder and then all throughout the pelvis. So those will be removed as the second step. But in order to get the uh, urine outside the bladder, we're going to create a urinary diversion. And we do different types of urinary diversions. Sometimes we can create a new bladder out of uh, in a new bladder to be made, or other times we take um, a, a smaller segment um, to divert. And either either type that we do, we're going to use uh, intestines, small intestines, to, to do the diversion. Uh, patients, you know, we have plenty of intestine, so we take a small segment and use that as a as a as a means to um, to bridge a gap. In this patient, what we'll do is. Uh, what's called an ileal conduit. And so this is really a segment of intestine that we've harvested and then connected their intestines back up. It's a small segment. It's actually about you know 15 centimeters. We hook it up to the ureters and it's it's called a conduit, just like a, a you know a, a fluid channel. So we hook it up to the ureters, and the urine can flow this way and out the body. It's connected to the skin at the level right around the belly button. And so the urine will come out through the conduit and then be collected in a device on the outside. Um, there is an alternative which would be, or a couple of alternatives. For example, we may use a larger piece of intestine that we could fashion into kind of a a large sphere connected to the urethra and this would be then connected to the kidneys as well so we insert the ureters here and this is called a neobladder in this device um, there's no external drainage bag it's connected back naturally to the urethra not all patients are candidate for this and it, it would be a discussion that I have with them to determine based on their um, their kidney function and other medical conditions to determine if they're a candidate. 
But what we're going to be doing for this patient is this procedure, an ileal conduit, and we're going to be doing this completely robotically. So um, there are people doing robotic cystectomies, and there are even people doing some robotic lymph node dissections. But what we're actually going to be doing is doing all three components of these done robotically. And uh, that provides some benefits for the patient. Um, certainly can help with decreasing blood loss and improve and decreasing the length of their hospital stay and getting their recovery better. Um, so this is what we call a total intracorporeal, completely inside the, in the body. So the robot is used completely, everything is done inside the body using the robot. And at the very end, we secure this to the skin. Um, so that's what the robotic cystectomy with total intracorporeal urinary diversion is.